This is video tutorial um, number 18 and in this video tutorial we're going to talk you through how to make the ear. We're not going to show you the whole thing because every single um, thing on the ear we've already done. So it's just basically magic circles and all the techniques that you've already seen. But I will show you how to nip the ear into shape and sew that into its lovely final shape um, at the end. So ears make two. If you're making Reggie and Rosie, you're making one in cream and one in beige. Um, or if you want your bunny a little bit different and want to make one a different colour, you can do that. Um, but for most of the bunnies, you're just making two in the same colour. So we'll talk you through the pattern. Line round one is a magic circle with six double crochet stitches. And then for round two, you're going to be doing six increases to take you up to 12 stitches. Round three, two double crochets and then an increase and you're going to repeat that four times. Round four, three double crochets and then an increase, repeating it four times. And then five, six, seven, eight and nine are just a straight one double crochet in each stitch. So don't miss out there, it's not just round five, you're doing five to nine. So you'll do one double crochet in each stitch all the way back to your marker and then you will repeat that a total of five times. For round 10 you're going to be doing three double crochets and then a decrease because the shape has gone outwards and then it's slowly becoming um, slightly slimmer toward the base. Um, so you'll do three double crochets then a decrease and you will do that four times. Round 11 is just one double crochet in each stitch. Round 12 is two double crochets and then a decrease and you'll repeat that four times. So two double crochet, double crochet, decrease, double crochet, double crochet, decrease, double crochet, double crochet, decrease, double crochet, double crochet, double crease. And that'll take you down to 12. 13 and 14 are just a straight one double crochet in each stitch. So that's two rounds, so you're round 13, all the way around and then round 14 all the way around then you'll slip stitch and fasten off like we have previously and leave a strand of around 30 centimeters and that's just to nip your ear into shape and also leaving a little bit extra so that we can use that thread to sew the ears on later so the next part is fold the base sides of the ear together and sew the bottom two rounds together to nip the ear into shape and there is a photograph to show you so here's one I prepared earlier. So this is a bunny ear. Let's move the pattern out of the way. So we started here with the magic circle. We increased and then decreased. And then we've slip stitched and fastened off here. So this is what your ear will look like. So there's your thread. So I'm just going to thread that onto my needle. Oops doesn't want to thread <laughs> always the case isn't it right so we'll thread that on so pop it onto our needle and then we are just going to fold it in half at the base this is the base fold it in half like so so that is the shape that we're aiming for so I'd fold it in half and then whichever side your thread's at go from that side through to that side so I'm just going to go through and then I'll go through back there. I won't leave a big stitch here because you'll see the stitch. So we're just going to go up. So we're just pretty much going through stitch at the top and also through a stitch at the other side. And then we'll go backward. I won't go over the top and push it back through that way because we'll have a line across the front. We want most of the stitches to be invisible. So we're going to go back from this side through here to the other side. So we're not going too far up, I'd say two to three rounds. The top one what I'll do is I'll just go back through again. Don't go through the same gap because you'll undo your thread, but just go slightly further, slightly away and go back through just to make sure it's nice and firm. And then look at your shape. That looks nice, that looks like a nice ear shape. So what I'm going to do now is just go down and bring my thread out at the bottom because when we put the ears on the bunny, 
we're going to be sewing on from the bottom so we're not going to cut this off because we're going to leave this for sewing the ear onto the bunny's head so we've just brought it to the bottom just because that's where it'll be needed I'm going to take my needle off and then I'm just going to set the ear aside and make another one exactly the same so make your ear make your second ear and then join me again